Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a feature, a banner to a feature box in uh, a WordPress blog using the thesis theme, and you definitely need to be using some version of the thesis theme in order to use the feature box feature. I just happen to be using Thesis Theme 1.8.2 and I believe I'm also using WordPress 3.2.1. Here's the banner up here. It says subscribe to my blog now. And so if you click on different pages, you'll see that that banner shows up at the top of every single page. Okay, here's the demonstration blog right here. And this is the blog that I'm going to put the banner in. So if I click around, you can see that there is no banner on any page. Now, what I'm going to do here is click on this tab. This brings me to the dashboard of the demonstration blog we were just looking at. The first thing I'm going to do, we're going to go to the thesis tab here. We're going to click on design options. We're going to scoot on down to where it says feature box. Click on that little plus sign. you've got three choices the best choices are the first or second I'm gonna use the second choice which is full width above content and sidebars and then you have another choice do you want it on the home page only or do you want it site-wide I do want it site-wide so I'm gonna scroll up here click on the big save button okay the next thing I'm gonna do is open up a file now this file if you can see up here it's in notepad if you on if you're using PC use notepad if you're using Mac use textpad in both instances use the simplest text editor you can find because more complicated text editors such as Microsoft Word add in a little sometimes add an extra code which can crash your blog so you don't want to do that this is all the code that we'll be using today um, and I want to give a special thanks special special shout out to John Sexton PhD for that code he posted a blog in the DIY themes uh, site and um, to Godhammer which is the avatar of uh, one of the people at DIY themes who helped me tweak the code a little bit more so you're getting code that's more tweaked than than is actually in the blog post so that should help out a lot of people all this code you can just copy and paste it from my blog post which is thesis tutorial best way to add banner to feature box or it's gonna have a title just like that or very similar to go to find this post you would go to my blog which is Jupiter Jim's marketing team and the easiest way to get to my blog is just type in jupiterjim.com into the the top of your browser so and then once you get to that website there'll be a little link to click to get to Jupiter Jim's marketing team because most people find it easy to remember jupitergym.com okay so right in here is the code what we need to do is paste the URL for the banner that we want to show up in the feature box so I'm going to minimize this we're going to go back to the dashboard here okay so here's the dashboard okay so here's the dashboard of the demonstration site let's scoot on down now I've already added a banner a graphical image banner that we're gonna put in the feature box by clicking add new so let's just skip that step we'll go right to the library and get the banner that I've already uploaded um, let's just use well I'll use this one so it's the exact same one I have in my real blog once you get there you're gonna scroll down where it says file URL you're gonna click in here press control A to select all command A on a Mac and then I'm gonna press control C to copy or command C to copy on a Mac you don't need to update the media because we haven't changed anything okay so now I'm going to go back up to my text where it says paste URL for banner image right here I'm going to hit backspace control V or command V as in Victor command Victor and I'm pasting the URL to that okay I'm gonna select up here the URL to that banner I'm gonna highlight this code control C and then I'm gonna click in a white space to deselect so that code does not stay highlighted I'm going to we're back at the dashboard of the demonstration blog under thesis we're gonna click on custom file editor once we get there we're going to click the down arrow go to custom functions.php click on that green button and you'll get this little 
sign at the top that says make sure you back up this file custom functions.php I show you how to back up the custom functions.php file and I've got that in a video and in a blog post at jupitergymsmarketingteam.com I also have a couple of videos that show you how to use FileZilla which is an FTP program you'll need to back up this file if you don't back up this file you could end up being a very very unhappy camper because one missing one little semicolon could crash your whole blog when you copy and paste the code so we're gonna go down to the bottom just put the cursor there control Victor to paste um, then I'm going to hit the big green save button here okay let's go back to my notepad file I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to copy this code here control C to copy command C to copy on a Mac we're going to go back here go to custom dot CSS edit selected file we're going to scroll down just put the cursor right there control Victor just put it at the bottom of the file is fine control Victor hit that big green save button now I'm gonna right click here open link a new tab theoretically the banner should be up but sometimes it doesn't show up right away you have to wait so let's just see if it shows up it does not so let me just click on a different page and see if it shows up there okay oh it does it works perfectly so I'm gonna click on another page and it shows up there again before we close out that's really all there is to it all the code is on jupitergymsmarketingteam.com however I'm gonna give you another little twenty dollar tip if you go to dummyimage.com you can create your own dummy images so let's just say we want to try out a you know different sizes let's just say I think that one was I don't know let's just go with 800 by that's an X I'm using there just the letter X and I'll say by 220 okay now I'm going to click let me see in here and I'm gonna say thesis rocks and I'm gonna click in the white space that and then you get this little URL click that this brings you to the if you want to right-click and save the image you can we don't need to do that for this demonstration so I'm gonna go up here control C to copy go back to the custom field we're going to go to custom functions.php click here edit selected file I'm gonna go back in here now normally I don't advocate editing this file directly but for the sake of saving time for this demonstration I'm just gonna paste that in there click the big green save button right click back to the site and like I said it might not show up right away okay so let's go back to some of the pages we've already clicked so the old one is still there and sometimes it takes a little bit to process there it is it's working so that's all there is to adding a really cool banner to the feature box using the thesis theme thanks so much if you like this video please leave your comments on YouTube on my blog share with Facebook Twitter with friends family and loved ones take care and have a great day